welcome back to my channel guys and thank you so much for clicking guys today we are going to bake the bread yes it's baking baking today so I told you before that I am going to show you how I bake my bread so today is the day and I want to see you guys in my kitchen come on let's go here are all the ingredients or the tools you need for baking your bread okay guys this is what I use to bake my bread guys from here this is flour uh, I use bread flour to bake my bread yeah this is flour now this is vinegar I use this vinegar for the mixture of my yeast so that my yeast can rise up as you can tell over here guys it's a mixture of my yeast which is getting ready look it's rising up it's a mixture of sugar a yeast, and the yeast in here so this is what I'm going to use to mix okay and this is the vinegar that I use right here and another thing that I need of course this is the yeast that I use the dry yeast I use this one another thing that I need sugar of course this is the sugar I use and I need salt because you need salt I need milk I'm going to use this milk and it's warm milk and of course I need my two eggs I need my spoon this is my powdered sugar I need the, to mix the regular sugar and the powdered sugar you don't have to mix but if you want to just want to go with just regular sugar that's okay if you want to go with just powdered sugar and that's okay but I like to mix just a little bit more of it but there's no reason for that <laughs> another thing that I need of course a measuring cup because I need to measure my stuff usually when I cook I don't measure stuff I measure with my eyes guys but when it comes to things like baking really measuring is the key you have to measure your so you can balance okay now I am going to start with what I'm doing and of course you need a whole mixing bowl so I use this bowl to put all my mixture in here so I'm gonna move this thing over here so I can put my bowl right here That is my bowl right there. So I'm going to bowl my flour. These are two and a half cups of flour in here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my eggs. Grabbing my eggs in here, guys. One egg. And get another one. My two eggs. going to put is my sugar yeah and I'm going to add my powdered sugar too guys this is a mixture of yeast and sugar look my yeast is just done so I'm going to pour my yeast in here and a little 
bit as I go. So. and start working on the flower all I'm looking is that nice plastic slimy you know hard not so hard but white neat flower so I'm going to be kneading my flower until it's in a desired position that I need my flower is on a flat surface and now I'm working on my flower guys and if you didn't know this is the flower that I use it's a gold medal bread flower you can use all purpose flour, it's your choice, but I prefer to use this one. But I use the other one, it's still the same thing. So, I'm working on my flour. I usually work on my, my flour in about uh, 8 to 7 to 8 minutes or 10 minutes, working on my flour. Because the key to making a... Uh, and guys, if your flour is still soft, it's okay to add a little bit flour so to your desired texture. So the key to making a good flour um, is a good dough. So your dough has to be well kneaded, guys. So you knead your dough. It's a hard work, but it's okay because you want your bread to come out really well. Working out on my flower. So you can tell guys my dough is almost done. Look, my dough is not sticking and that's what we are looking for. You're looking for this kind of dough. Look at it. It's just like a plastic. So, it's all done. So guys, what I have here is oil, cooking oil. So I use canola oil. So I forgot one step when I was mixing uh, the, the, the flour. It's okay when you all dip the eggs and the flour and the sugar and the salt. It's okay. You can go ahead and add uh, two tablespoonful of oil cooking oil and the mixture but at the same time if you forget it's okay to come up here and just drop it here and keep working with the dough so since my dough is done guys I've been working for 10 minutes with this dough so and I feel like my dough is really done so what you do you come with the bowl that you used to mix and put a little bit of oil in here, kind of a tablespoonful or just a little bit, not too much. And make sure you put your hand, get your hands dirty guys when you're cooking or baking or something. Get your hands dirty. So Queen J, she's getting our hands dirty. So make sure you put the oil in here and then bring your dough guys. Come with your dough that and put your dough in here make sure that dough is mixed up with the oil and turn it again with that oil make sure the oil goes all over guys and then my dough is done what I do with my dough I have to cover uh, my dough either with the wet towel or any kind of towel but because I have this towel here these are my cooking towels, so I have to go ahead and um, 
put my towels here. Cover. I use two of them. And the cover. And wait for my dough to rise up. So I'm going to leave my dough here. For an one full hour. I'm just going to leave it for an hour. For the dough to rise up. And then we'll check it back in an hour. Make sure you come back. Okay now, our door is done. As you can tell, let's open it. That's been one hour so far. That's how much, and you can see our door has doubled in size. Yes, just for one hour. And then how I test if my door is done. Guys, look, when you put your finger, it just goes. And then when you open the door, it's so nice and soft. It just opens up. It's just elastic. Okay, now what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to knit it again in here. Yeah, in here. Get my dough and make my dough in a shape of bread. See, guys. I'm just making it like in a shape or bread. I'm gonna put my dough up here. Excuse me. And uh, my dough in the shape like inside out. I'm going to do of course I am going to need my baking pan this is my baking pan right here let me grab my spray get my cooking pan and get my spray if you don't have a spray you can use butter you can use in oil and the cooking oil and then make sure you spray all over the pan look at that now my pan is ready so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab my bread and put my bread in here guys bread in here look at that now I'm going to let my bread sit for a 45 minutes all I want to see is that the bread is rising up and it's going to fill all over this pan so again I'm going to cover my bread using my same cotton clothes right here and then wait for 45 minutes so we'll check it back in 45 minutes guys okay now the bread has risen to the level that we wanted look at that bread so it's been 45 minutes and this is what we got so this is the level we wanted our bread so I'm gonna go ahead I already set the oven you set the oven 375 for 30 minutes Oh well, 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 the bread is ready guys, it's too hot. The bread is ready. So what you need to do when you, you get the bread off the oven, you need to put your bread down. Oh my goodness, look. It's from the bottom and turn your bread. Wow. Look at it guys. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is the bread, look. It's well done. Look. Look at the bottom. Wow. So, we are going to wait for five minutes for our bread to cool down. Okay, it's been five minutes now. The bread has cooled down. The bread is really good. Guys, if you want to see if your bread is ready, just get the bread and heat like that. You hear that? It's softy and moisty. So, come with your knife, guys. 
you ready? Let's cut! Oh my goodness guys, look at that! Look at bread! Oh my goodness! It's nice and moisty! Ah! My! And then if you want to use your butter, you can come with your butter. Get your butter and put your bread, guys. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Look at that. It's really well done. Oh well, thank you so much guys for coming with me to my kitchen to bake the bread. There's a bread, the famous bread. I hope you guys you learned something like you can bake your own bread. As I told you, I'll never buy a bread again because I can bake my own bread guys. So do you. So go ahead and try and comment below guys. Let me know, show me the pictures, a video of you baking your own bread. And if you have a, um, a question or anything you want to tell me, give, leave a comment below guys. Let me know, let me know how was your bread. Mine is very, very tasty. Ooh, guys, it's so moist. Excuse me, I'm talking while eating. It's because this bread is so addictive. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Hope you like my baking and give me a suggestion of something you want me to bake or something that you want me to cook as i told you before i am not the best cook i'm just a mom cooking you know trying different kinds of food or just different kind of uh, baking and then you come up with this well if you're a new subscriber please subscribe to my channel and if you are an old subscriber please keep watching the videos and guys i'll see you in the next one bye